Alright guys, back here with another video, and this time we're going to be going over my Fluffle build. And if this video gets an, over 50 likes, I will do a test hand video and tweak, like I'm going to tweak the deck as I go to locals and play the deck. So make sure to smash that like button and follow the TikTok, and smash the subscription button if you haven't already. And pick, check out the other video, videos we have for on the channel. We have a DDD profile that just went up, we have Speedroids, we have... Uh, Light Sworn Chaos. We have a bunch of videos we're going for with a bunch of different decks. So stay tuned for those as well. If you like Yu-Gi-Oh content, I might be able to even local, do a local live stream as well if I can get game on to cooperate. But besides that, make sure to leave comments below on what decks you want to see or what kind of gameplay or anything like that. We can also do some master duel things if you guys really, really smash that like button and help us get to 4K subscribers. All right. Three Fluffle Stratos is what I call him. You can add any Fluffle on normal special. And you can also add Egypt Sabers. Really good card and helps you be consistent. Three of the most important Fluffle in the deck in my opinion. Three Penguin. This one, when it's fused with you, draw two, discard one. So this helps you filter even further to make your deck even more consistent. And also, this is a water level four monster. So it helps you make Bahamut, Shark, and Toad. And also, it can special summon any fluff from your hand while he's on the board. So, it's an extender as well while he's on the board. Really good with combination with the cross sheet play, which is really nice. One fluffle dolphin. This is one of the targets you can make to make the Bahamut Shark or any rank four. And this thing can send the fluffle wings, which is the pot of greed. And set Toy Vendor from your graveyard back on the field. So Foolish Burial Good gets you almost a free guaranteed draw as long as you have a way to put a Fluff on the graveyard beforehand. And there's a lot of one-ofs in this build, and that could change, and we'll go over that in a little bit as well. You got one Fluff of Wings. This is Banish a Fluffle from your graveyard and this while you have Toy Vendor face up on the field. And you get a draw one, send fluff, uh, Toy Vendor to the graveyard, draw another card, and then Toy Vendor allows you to grab another free Fluffle or Edge Jump Savers. And the Fluffle Bear, the pretty Fluffle Bear, allows you to send this from the grave from your hand to the graveyard and set a toy vendor from your deck to the f uh, face up. Oh, sorry, face down the field. And this is another way to make sure that if you open both of these, you get to draw two cards and get a free search. Really strong. Fluffle Sheep. This is your extender. This allows you to go into a link to play and also allows you to. Uh, bring back your chain after you get sent to the graveyard for a fusion material so that you can or you can discard it or whatever and then once you do that you get to go into a free li link to like cross sheep so level sheep helps you make cross sheep or any link to or just gets you help you get fusion materials on board as well level fluffle cat this is one of the most unnecessary but necessary cards in the deck if you're looking to otk and play push through things this card allows you to Grab polymerization back from the graveyard when it gets fusion summoned with this card. And one fluffle owl. This allows you to add poly. And a lot of times you just summon this off of repair if you really need to extend. And also, uh, you can pay 500 to fuse instead of adding poly if you already ran out of polys. You got one fluffle octopus. This one's the recycler. And uh, that's mainly his own purpose. That's the reason why a lot of these one ofs, like you see here, at work really good card then you that's it for the fluffle monsters and it is trimmed down from the normal ratios that i was playing before three egypt chain this one is the searcher for fright for spells when it's sent from by fusion or from hand to graveyard and it's really nice or field from the graveyard as well so if you can link with this or discard this you get to get a free fright for spell which is usually patchwork but there's other targets as well like fright for fusion and the fright for repair Really strong card. Three Edge Imp Scythe. This card is your polymerization on your opponent's turn and during the main phase. So it allows you, and also it has an effect like Return of the Dragon Lords to protect one of your one of your fusions. So if you summon Kraken on your opponent's turn with this, you get to pop Kraken in itself on turn zero on your opponent's turn, pop one of their cards, and save your Kraken. Also, Kraken will send the Fry for Repair, and that's an extender for your follow up turn. One sabers to round out the seven copies of Edge Imps. 
and the last bit of monsters. You got one of each for the Fusion Destiny package. So the deck's at 44 cards. If you remove the four cards for the Fusion Destiny package, we're at 40 card deck. But these are really strong cards for them just in general, so they're not bad to draw. So whenever you do draw a weird hand, you can go straight into the um, Vert Anaconda. will at least have some type of defense. You got three copies of Foolish Bear Goods. This sends Toy Vendor. And when Toy Vendor sends to the graveyard, add any Fluffle. And this will allow you to go into the Wings play to get you another free search. And allows you to set up more plays because you draw two, get a free search. So this card and this card are really good together as they basically are extra copies of anything in your deck. Then three Fry for Patrick, add one polymerization, one edge jump from your deck to your hand. So this adds any edge jump, which is really nice because it adds the scythe or the the uh basically any of them, right? But the scythe is not searchable outside of this card, which is really cool if you go first. But this deck can go first or second, which is why I love this deck. Three polymerization, that's obviously the targets for the Fry for Patchwork. Uh this card is really powerful because you're you're like plussing a lot because of the fusion materials that you get and the fusion materials allowing you to get more more plusing based off basically the penguin allowing you to draw two discard one one fry for fusion this is literally just miracle fusion and then fry for repair this is your banish from graveyard special summon fluff from from hand that the other effect is a monster reborn effect by returning one of your fusions from your graveyard to your extra deck, but that doesn't really come up unless you happen to have drew this card and then you send a fusion with a whale on your opponent's turn and then you get to do a monster born the next turn, which is pretty cool if it does come up, but it's not that relevant. Uh, three triple tactics talent. Now this is the part where things get a little more... Uh, so these cards here are the ones that make the deck um, more resilient going second or when you're getting inter interrupted. So, uh, this, a lot of decks are just playing Imperm and Droplet and stuff like that, and they're setting them. So, if they go first, you have to set those, and they're, this just helps you blow those out. So, one duster, I think, is important for most decks. Also, helps you out Mystic Mine and stuff like that, and you don't want to get locked out of the game. And then you have Fusion Destiny, really strong. We already talked about that. Then, three talents is really good in this meta. A lot of decks are just setting up Board Negates, and then they are, and uh, the most common hand trap is Ash Blossom. So, um, in the beer room and stuff like that, so you want to have some type of way to follow up to draw two and or rip a card of your opponent's hand if they try to hand drop you too many times so they can't play either. Because sometimes, sometimes a DPE plus a hand rip is good enough for GG's. And then there was three droplets. I have one more over here. But um, put the third one in the side when I know for sure that I'm going second against a deck that it, this card really hurts. And to the extra deck, we're going to go over this really quickly. Two Whale. I already said explain what he does, basically. But he's just, two copies of it is fine. Uh, three is nice as well, but that's up to you. Uh, three, Two Kraken. This comes up sometimes, but you probably can get away with one copy if, if you only have access to one copy. I do like two, as it is nice for me to sometimes make it on turn one and then have you, you fuse it away for this, bring it back, and then go into a rank eight. But you still want to have that one copy to help you OTK. And the last Fry for Fusion, one Tiger. This is your board wipe, like a fire lake type effect. So you fuse with, with any any number of materials and uh, at least two materials, obviously. And then you get two pops at minimum, or you get for every more materials you fuse with it, you pop that many cards. So it's a board clear whenever you really need it to be. And also you can choose the chain links between your other effects to resolve to make sure that they can't solemn strike this guy's effect to blow up their whole board. One DP. We talked about this earlier. And then Guardian Chimera, one card I'm testing. Uh, shout out to Charlie for giving me this card at Locals last weekend. Nice trade we did. Uh, this card is made by three materials with different names, but one card, one of them has to be on board, and that's where the downfall on this card comes. But it lets you pop one card uh, for each material you use on field to fuse with it and draw the draw cards equal to the number of materials used in hand. So typically you fuse with your Fluffle Dog and two cards from your hand, with it, and, and then you get to trigger off your effects. But... Um, He's really cool. I'm not sure if it's really that necessary. I'm um, testing it out. It is also untargetable while you have polymerization. Since you actually use polymerization in this deck, you get to get that effect. So it's really nice. I'm not sure if this is necessary. But it's fun to play with. One Vert Anaconda. This is a fusion deck. 
one cross sheep. This is a fusion deck, and this allows you to go into your Appaloosa, and that's really what it's there for. Also, you could take in Access Code Talker uh, for going like extra kill power, uh, which is something to consider. And then you have one Abyss Dweller. A lot of times you get the dog on the board with the penguin, and then it becomes a 2200 Dweller in your opponent's turn, and it can lock your opponent out from playing after you blow up their board. Then you're playing the water monster so you can buy a toad. This is really cool for the extra deck for setting up negates if you go first and have a pretty good hand. And then one hope harbinger. But this can be um, number 90 as well if you want to negate monster effects instead of spells. Which I don't blame you if you want to tr do that instead. But negating spells is strong. That's it for the extra deck. And we're going to go over some options for the extra deck. Uh, the second copy of... Um, the fr the fright for saber tooth dark really strong at bringing back your opponent's DBE. You are playing f dark type cards in your extra deck, like your fusions that you can link away your kraken to bring your opponent's back uh, opponent's DBE back, which is really cool. Uh, not that crazy, but something interesting to note. The fright for daredevil is cool because you can burn in time, so it's a decent card you can play in the side. If you feel like you're going to need it, but that's no, not really unnecessary. Third droplet. Called by the Grave. This can prop, This may go in over the third copy of Triple T, but uh, this is really good if your opponent's your point playing multiple like hand traps like Valor as well. If you're relying on them seeing Ash for this card to be live, it's not that strong, especially whenever you'd rather just draw two if they Ash you. In some cases, that is. And then Royal Penguin's Guardian and Garden, that is. You can add Puffle Penguin. I was trying this out. I did like it sometimes, but then sometimes I didn't. So, because um, you just you just don't you just you just see your penguins and, and you don't need this card and you draw uh, two off a penguin and then you're like, oh, I don't need penguin anymore, so I just discard it. So it was just a dead card sometimes. The Dagda package with the Scythe, really strong. If you want to play that in your extra deck, feel free to do so. But this card is a brick, and this card is going to take up slots in your extra deck when you could just side these when you know you're going first and you know that it actually impacts the matchup so because a lot of decks uh my locals are playing like back row decks and or it, like penguins and they don't need they don't care about scythe anyways second copy of dolphin and bear and wings so you can consistently draw cards these are really nice um at multiple sometimes but sometimes not so uh, at worst you could side uh one more copy of, you can play one more copy of bear if you feel like you need it to make sure that you get access to the vendor with your droplets, which is really cool. And then one copy of Golden Lord. Uh, this card is really nice in this deck whenever you do send copy of Toy Vendor to the graveyard. So if you're doing more than one bear, this sometimes really comes up to make... Because basically, if you do do this, you get to get a free setup for Dolphin. And then that's really nice. So this is not bad. I really like this setup. So like if you... Bear, send uh, a set vendor, then vendor, and this go to grave, and then you get to the. Uh, so basically, you vendor, discard this, then you reveal the top. Sometimes you hit something good and you get special from hand. Then then send the vendor to summon back the golden lord, and this can also help break uh, boards as well. And then you get to trigger off the vendor, add the dolphin, and some dolphin, set back the toy vendor, and send the wings. And you have the bear. And the toy vendor set up with the... So you get to do the draw one, send this, draw another, free search for whatever you're missing. Which is really cool, so that's something good to note. Leave comments down below, guys. I want to see if you guys like this type of content. And if you guys want to see test hands with this and or updates after I go to locals and see how I do with it, please make sure to let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces.